I'm Chris Rupavina of Chameleon Advertising, substituting today for Bob Meister and talking to Art Mawinney, president and co-founder of Animagination, a firm which creates animation, much of which is used for advertising, and advertising in turn implements a great deal of animation, perhaps more than we're aware of. Art, hi. Hello. Why is animation important to advertising? Well, animation is unique. Uh, there are so many different styles and types of animation that each commercial looks different and has an identity all of its own. Uh, also, animation doesn't have any live action actors, doesn't have any uh, costly sets, so many times the production of an animated spot is uh, less uh, expensive than a live action commercial. Also, they tend to have a longer running time than a live action spot, so uh, many people get their money out of an animated commercial. So it's different and it's cost effective, but do people take it seriously? Uh, yes. All the testing that I've heard about and testing done on some of our spots have concluded that animation is as effective or more effective than a live action spot. I think that's borne out by the number and uh, different types of animated commercials on television today. Can you run through a few stages here now of animation? Sure. We'd start out by uh, having a script done and take that into a storyboard, which is a visualization of the action that will take place. From there, we would go to actually drawing or animating the character. Uh, at that stage, we go to uh, cells. Mm -hmm. This is a Xerox of the animation drawing, mm -hmm. and the Xerox comes out onto a piece of plastic called a cell. The cell is painted on the back with a special type of paint that adheres to the cell. You can see here that each drawing is different. The difference between the drawings gives the illusion of movement when they're shown in a series. Once this step is done, a background is produced, and all the art goes to the animation camera to uh, be photographed. Once it's photographed, it becomes transferred to tape, and the sound is added, and we end up with a finished TV commercial. Hmm. And we're going to be taking a look now at a 10-second version of that. Right. Art, can you tell us now the difference between cartoon animation that we just saw and graphic animation, which your firm also does? Correct. Uh, in cartoon animation, we use individual drawings to give the illusion of movement, as we've shown here. In graphic animation, we're using the motion or movement of the camera in relation to the artwork to give the illusion of movement. And now